Okay, let's try the next part of this parabola hyperbola question. They want us to find the value of a. That's in the um, parabola here. And here's the equation. It's y equals a times x plus 2 squared minus 8. Well, we've got a point here. We're looking at 0 and 0 that it goes through. So if we substitute, instead of y, we put 0. And instead of x, we put 0 then we should be able to solve for y. And that's what they do. I don't know why they didn't put a 0 in there, because that's what creates 4a. 0 plus 2 is 2 squared is 4. You get 4a. Add 8, divide by 4. Hey, a must be 2. That wasn't too hard. Now try and find the length of OA. Well, we've got 0 and 0. What would this be? Do you know, I think you should be able to say by symmetry, this must be minus 4. Um, by symmetry. And that would mean the length would, of OA would be 4. But that would be one way to get it quickly. But the other way is to find what's called the y-intercepts by letting this, um, we have to let y equals 0, sorry, to find the x-intercepts. And that's what looks like what they did. They let y equals 0, and then we're going to solve and figure out what x is. So they divide everything by 2 here, and they, that turns into a, a 4, minus 4, and they add 4. And then they do a nice little trick here. You could make it into a quadratic, but they just take the square root. x plus 2 equals plus or minus 2. So x is 0 or minus 4. So that's using algebra to get it. But I think you'd have to be able to say by symmetry, a must be minus 4. I think you'd get the marks that way, too. Now, what's the range of f? The range of f. Well, there's f. f can be anything going on to infinity here, and it can be anything going down to infinity here. The only thing it can't be is 1. So you just write, y can't be 1. But y can be an element of any other real number. Now, what's the equation of the axis of symmetry here? Uh, with the negative exponent. That means the one going through it. So it's y equals minus x plus c. And then all you do, you know what goes through here, the axis of symmetry. You know it goes through minus 2 and 1. So that's how you do it. It's minus x plus c, but y is 1 and x is minus 2. You just put that point in there and now that'll be plus 2. You take away c will be minus 1. So there's your equation, y equals minus x minus 1. And that's question 4.3 all done.